first start. And yeah. So we've got some hacks in. Uh, did that make you feel a little more comfortable, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. The coaches told me my time will be coming. I'll sit on the bench waiting for my time. I know an awesome Will Heights senior in front of me. He's been my mentor through all these years. He told me, your time's coming. Trust me. He's been getting the coaches to get me realizing that I can play this game. And uh, believe it or not, I got in on Tennessee Tech. I did my thing. And that gave me some confidence today, a lot. What were you thinking when you saw the Fisher throwing some nasty sidearm? You know, yeah, that, that was my first time in my college experience seeing that sidearm right there. So I just wanted to call like Coach Ramsey stay, stay through the ball. And that was my approach, get in there, stay middle, right side of the field, and got the job done. I guess you the way he was throwing, it really it wasn't a breaking ball. It was just where the pitch was coming Yep, from. just a fastball. Kind of, and it started up in my hip and just ended right over the plate. Great hitting fastball. Were you trying to go the other way, or, or you just wanted to get a bat on the ball? Just wanted to get the bat on the ball as hard as I could and see, put it where the where the fielders aren't. That's it. Uh, what was the exhilaration like after you ran the first base? You know, I lost the button, so you, that says it all right there. Bro <laughs> I broke my glasses, lost my helmet, lost a button. Just seeing my teammates coming out there after me was probably the best best feeling I've had in like my baseball experience for sure. And I imagine there wasn't there wasn't even any thought about. Get the second base. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. I, as soon as I hit, I knew. All I got to do is touch first base. Just run. touch first. Coach, Coach Javi's over there screaming, touch first, touch first. I made sure I touched first and celebrated after. Uh, your first ACC game, you know, what was the experience watching the game? Oh, Virginia Tech, they're a great team. So we had a lot of matchups before that to prepare us for a team like Virginia Tech coming in. We knew that their pitchers were going to bring it, and our hitters, we stepped in. That was a team win tonight, and just see how we can come together as a team against a good team against, uh, like a good team against Virginia Tech. Showed a lot in like who we are and how this season is going to write off. Yeah, I guess there's a guy coming off the bench. You know, Coach Holes talk, talked about this. He had a good feeling about this team deep bench. That mm -hmm. type of oh, yeah. Uh, and you saw – a lot of your teammates on the bench mm -hmm. make contributions. Oh, yeah. So that, that must, you know, make you feel pretty good. Yeah, it makes you feel wonderful to just know who we have on the bench and everyone's ready to play and everyone believes in each other. That's a great thing to have on a team. Does this time, type of uh, win give you guys a jump start? Oh, yeah. This, oh, yeah. Schedule? Definitely. This is a huge win for us because now everyone's confidence is through the roof. We got one through nine pitchers. They're, we're ready to go. We're ready to battle to see what we got through the ACC. What do you – seems like you, the young pitching staff has been a big part of what has happened so far mm -hmm. for the team. Uh, a lot of, lot of low-scoring games mm -hmm. for the pitching staff. Uh, I guess that, that speaks a lot for your class. Oh, yeah. We've come in. We have the number four recruiting class, I think, and that just said a lot who, who Coach Ramsey has recruited and Coach Hall. We, we knew coming in we would make big contributions because of the losses they had last year. So we stepped up to the plate, and I know we got Coach Debo to get these pitchers right, and they trust them, and I trust these pitchers to do what they got to do. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. Uh, get us a win, but had some big hits. Goldberg certainly leading off the ninth with a hit, and then Colin followed with a double. Barron with a big hit, and uh, just happy that uh, you know we were able to bounce back and win this first game uh, in history here at Rush Chandler Stadium with beer. <laughs> you, you were the you were in the right place in the order too for that ninth inning, and that. That really helped, and of course, Aaron struggled with two previous at bats. You know, getting the bat on the ball, and then of course he came through big time. Yeah, we we left guys on base all night. I mean, we, uh, uh, you know, I'm kind of hoping a game like this can get us going. We're getting hits. We're just not getting hits when we have guys in scoring position uh, to score. So I hope this gets us going. I'm convinced that we're still going to be okay offensively, but uh, you know, it's been a little bit of a struggle here of late. Seven innings for Jonathan Hughes, only three hits. That's that's really what you're looking for from your Friday start. Yeah, I thought he threw the ball uh, really well. Nine strikeouts, one walk. Uh, you know, yeah, that's exactly what you need on a Friday night. He matched uh, their guy had to. Their guy was very good as well. And I guess you, this was a Jonathan Hughes you thought you had when he came in. You know, no doubt, no, no doubt. You know, happy for him. He's hung around here and getting a chance now to uh, take the ball on Friday night. And uh, I know he relishes uh, just being in that role. You get the freshman up there with the guy throwing some nasty sidearm pitches, and uh, you know he he kept his head on the ball. He um, did did a great job just staying on it, hitting it the other way. And uh, you know Jackson's a really good player, and uh, just a you know big moment for him, uh, first ACC game, and he comes off the bench and gets a game winner.